right off the bat, we have Overgrown Tomb, not very useful, limited. It's just basically a guild gate, a dual lens. Lowless Giant, Finisher, and Golgari, Golgari Dex, Goblin Creator Maker, pretty good 2 drop, very flexible. Mook Devourer, uh, fat body, but usually not in play, uh, played in a lot of uh, decks. I've only seen it played in guild gate decks, where you just want fat creatures for your end game. I think the power level here is most likely going to be either Goblin Crater Maker or Lola Giant if you want to finish her. All the comments are pretty uh, good or just average. You have Bodyguard, you have Cyclops. I think we're going to go with uh, Crater Maker here. Here's our pick two. Uh, good comments would most likely be Whisper Agent if you're playing black. Goblin Electro Massive if you're playing Is it? I think uh, uh, Swamp Guild Mage is a fine pick here. You can heal yourself. And the first ability, 5 mana, creatures you control get plus 1 and manas can be used as a finisher. So I think we can go with Guild Mage here. Alright, here's our pick 3. We can have District Guide if we want to splash a third color, make it very consistent. And we are in, uh, we do have a green card for our second pick already. Necrotic Wound is a very good removal. Goes well with Golgari, green black. Uh, Hellcat Welp, I find it a bit too slow. 5 mana a lot, 5 mana is a lot for a 3-3 three, three flyer. But the ability is very good, especially if your opponent has a lot of creatures at 1 health. I'm trying to decide if I should go for Necrotic Wound or District Guide here. I think removal is better than District Guide. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with Necrotic Wound. Here we have Might of the Masses, which is an okay trick. If you have a lot of creatures, it becomes much better. Capture Sophia for removal. Burglar Rat is decent, uh, makes him discard a card. Uh, Centipede is also a fine playable, especially in Golgari. Honorary Goblin is good, especially, especially if your opponents have a lot of um, creatures with one health but right now we have two cards that's in black so if we want to stick in black I think we can take the burglar rat take the burglar rat and then my second pick will probably be the centipede here we see a lot of blue cards which would right now we're not part of uh, we're not in we can take chart of nine for a two drop your gate is also pretty decent let's take a chart of nine let's find two drop and has life link Beacon Bolt, good removal for is it? Guild, uh, Burrows Le Legion Guild Mage, good card for Burrows. The card we don't only relevant to us is the Vine and the Trooper. Trooper at 3 mana 2 2, this card, card gets buffed up. But you can only use it once. Hmm. I think I might take the Trooper. There's no other cards here that's powerful enough to make a switch. I mean, Beacon Bolt is fine, but we only have Goblin Creator Maker right now. Maybe we'll just take Beacon Bolt. The power level is there. Or maybe we should take Guild Mage. Let's take Beacon Bolt uh, because Grixis, red, black, blue, is a viable archetype. I mean, here we can pick up the Guild Gate. So we can start seeing if we can have build three color deck. Sonic Assault. Oh, here I think the pick would definitely be Generous Stray. Gives a body, draws a card, which is fine. Don't think we want Beam Split to Mage at this point. We don't have a lot of spells that synergizes with it. So we're not assault. We're not very aggressive right now. No need to take Sonic Assault. So we'll take the cat. So everything came back. Right now it's a pack open. We see green. Dissident and Canopy is open. Those are the strongest cards right now. Um, yeah, all the cards here are pretty average. Gonna just take the bear, either the bear or the Canopy. I, both of these card wheels a lot, so I'll just take the two drop. Yeah, I think we can pick up the Necrolisk for four drop. Yeah, we just take Hitch Call Recluse or Blocker. Not too exciting. We'll take a Guild Gate in case we want to splash white. 
We'll take the crab. We do have a Demir Guild Gate. We'll take the vine for zero three, but I don't think we'll play it. Ooh, Z for Sanity. Mega Bomb. So right now we are playing black and maybe splashing green. So it doesn't look like we're gonna be playing red. Right? Blue is a possibility. With Fever Sanity, we can definitely try, uh, try and make it work. And since we're playing green, it does. Uh, is you if we can get another district guide or even urban utopia, that would be good. So we're definitely picking Fever Sanity here. Lugari Fine Broker uh, finds a permanent from a graveyard. Put it in play. I mean, put it in your hand. Value right there. Very good card. Legion War Boss is also a good card. The challenge is trying to splash for it. We're already splashing blue. So it just make might make our deck less a bit more weaker. So we're gonna pick Fine Broker. Another fine big is Indrik, but it's six mana is a bit too slow. Three four is a very big blocker. And finds a card back. So if they kill our thief of sanity, we can bring him back. So right now the challenge is finding enough uh kill gates of a blue source. I think Rhizome Lurch is here, it's fine. Or oh, Urban Utopia. Urban Utopia usually wheels, so we're not gonna spend a pick on it. We don't want Siege Worm because we're not playing Celestia. Dawn of Hope is another pretty good, good, good bomb. But again, oh, maybe we should <laughs> try splashing for white as well. We could try splashing for white as well. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. No, it doesn't really fit with our game plan. We'll stick with Rhizome Lurcher. We don't want to get too fancy. Harpoon is definitely the pick here. Great 2 drop. Uh, and fights, kills the birds, the sprites. Whisper Agent is fine. Too bad it's, we're not seeing any Demil Guild Gages yet. Uh, Glow Spore Shaman is also fine. I'm just not a fan of it because I don't. I'm scared it mails my uh, good cards into the graveyard. Two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna take Whisper Agent first. If there was no Whisper Agent, I'd take Glow Spore Shaman. Oh look, more is the cards? Have no Sizzle, Beacon Bolt, and Escapable Blades. I'm gonna take Rhizome Malcher here. Fits with our game plan more. The Mio Guildgate it could be our pick. These two cards are pretty average and are exciting, we, so we'll use this pick for Guildgate. Wary or Cappy is totally fine. Man, there's so much hypnosis going around. Probably don't need Hedge Claw Recruits at this point. <coughs> uh, Gateway Plaza for another gate. We already have a vine that we're most likely not going to play right off the bat. So, we don't need another one. We'll take the cat here for sure. See, so Urban Utopia Wheel, which would gladly take it. So right now we don't have an, a lot of removals. We need to start uh, spending some picks on removals. Alright, pack three. Alright, here's the guild gate that we, we, want, we want. We already have two cats. Crowd for Roger is good. See, here we have another Rhizome. Bounty of a Might is a bit too slow. Six mana. It is a finisher. Uh, House Guild Mage? I don't think... I don't think we want to pick Guild Mages yet. I'd rather have the guild gate. Or maybe we do. I mean, if we, if we end up playing two Urban Utopias, we have a Plaza and a Demir guild gate. We probably could get uh get our blue pretty consistently for a thief of sanity. So maybe guild mage could be a pick here too. Alright, let's spend our pick on guild mage. Or maybe even rampaging monument. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> six multicolored spell. Yeah, let's take rampaging monument. Ritual suit for removal against a more aggressive decks. 
I think this is a fine pick. It's too bad it also came with Delhi Visit. I will I would love to have Delhi Visit too. But I think Ritual Suit is fine. Especially in this matter. So aggressive right now. I don't know if they tweak the numbers, but everyone's playing Boros. Right now, 80% of my matches is against Boros. Uh, there's a Boros card which we don't want. We're not Demia, so no need Whispering Snitch. No, not a lot of cards except the Locket. So we'll take the Locket. I don't think we'll play it. Conclave Tribunal worth splashing for for sure. But I don't want to splash white. But it is a very good removal. It is a very good removal. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Right now we have twenty two cards minus three gates. All right, if we were played double Urban Utopia, we could splash for a Conclave. We already have five three drop uh five two drops. <laughs> One, two, three. And then four five drops. Alright, let's take the conclave. We need we need removals. And then we'll play double urban utopia. Oh the Mew Gilgate. But then came comes with necrotic wound. Uh we gotta take the necrotic wound. It's a very strong removal. We're not gonna take the cat. Seven strands is another removal. Cause we can use it on uh burglar rat and cat. So we're gonna take this. We have good synergy with it. Aphidic vapor is definitely playable in this aggressive meta. Ooh, district guide, very good. District guide is very good. We'll definitely take that. Not a lot of bombs. Oh, Crawford Royal, just perfect. Crawford Rogers is perfect for us. Here we'll just take Wild Star Talk, but I don't think we'll play it. Sweet Riot Sideboard. Contraband Sideboard. Crushing Canopy could be playable. <laughs> Alright, since we have District Guide, I don't think we need Gateway Plaza. So right now we're at 24 lands. Alright, maybe we don't need two Urban Utopias then. We have three sources of blue. Counting District Guide. We have 23 cards. Could play uh, Crushing Canopy. Or another two drop. If we get the two drop... I think I'm gonna take out Wary or Cappy then. I'll take the two drop and then take out Wary or Cappy. Another reason for Shieldmate, it is a white card, so it could help us convoke um convoke uh, Conclave Tribunal too. So our end game is a uh, Rhizome Lurcher, Thief of Sanity, Wild Bomb. We would put in one planes. And one island, I guess. Do we need an island? Hmm. Probably not the island. So we have more sources for green. So right now, a green, a black, one planes, one blue. This is our uh, two necrotic wound, one vapor, one tribunal, one suit. Hopefully that should be enough to get us there. One seven strand. This works. Four color deck. We'll play first. We have a Utopia, color fixing. We have a cat. All right, let's keep it. We need to draw a land in the next three cards, counting Urban Utopia. We'll play our rat. Opponent discards a planes. Look, another Boros deck. Wow, why is this guy so aggressive? <laughs> I 
Actually, I should not have played white. I cannot curve into a Golgari Fine Broker like this. Okay. Let's make him discard. What? We're not gonna block that. Urbanotopia first. Stick it on green. Can he out race it? I don't think so. He has to hold back for blocking. Yeah, he got stuck on three lands too long. He plays double Maniacal Rage too. Double Maniacal Rage. Happy to at least you know trade with one 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 that has a maniacal rage on it. This three guy does rampers. What would I take out for it though? Conclave Guild Tribunal might not be as good. Because uh, it's not going to be a while till we find white mana. So we'll put Wario Cappy, just one more, one more creature. All right, we got our two drops. We'll keep, and our opponent's going first. We got our third land. Very good. We're gonna play Child of Night first. We'll save our Killed Mage for later on, and it is a color card, so maybe sometime after playing Rampaging Monument. That's very generous right there. We have Ritual Suit, we just need a fourth land. We have the double black required.
I think we can pay Rampaging Monument here. I mean, we'll take uh, five next turn. But... Could be worth it. Yeah. Let's build it up first. We don't need to reach our suit just yet. We don't need to reach our suit just yet. Response. Okay, that's fine. Now we got two two drops to play. It's all good. Look at this crappy, crappy auto tap. Now we leave one man up. One man up in case he wants to stick when I could rage on it. I mean, even if he stick when I could rage on it, um, we're still ahead. Alright, looks like we got this in the bag. Ritual of the Suit is so good against Boros. We also have the 5 mana to pump up Dissident. Phew. Alright, we have the double black for Whisper Agent. We have a 2 drop, so I think there's a fine keep. What? <laughs> Boros again? Oh wait, Celestia, yay. A oh, very aggressive Celestia. I have no problem trading, I want to fill the graveyard. And he has one less creature to to convoke. Wait, Celestia playing good for battle? Interesting. We don't need lands. That's one and a half card. <clears throat> Sun Home Stewart. Oh, too bad he put Girl from Battle on it. Ooh, 
This is nice. This is nice. Do I need to play Obo Tobia right now? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I'll gladly trade. I will gladly trade. And there's our bomb. What is he doing? Oh, block us. Lumina spawns for removal, I guess. Actually, I shouldn't have to attack with Dissident. Dissident can be pumped to stop, stop Stalwalt. <laughs> Convoke. Wait, that? Oh, that's a problem. I mean, we can still pump and get it. But it's just only... Oh, pack favor. Uh, I think Pax Free was better. We got one. Yeah. Yeah. We can pump. I can pump up this guy and Pax Free, right? So he's gonna kill Dissident first, right? So if I pump it up, it won't be saved. Let's see what he does here. Centaur. Harpoon's good. Uh, um, Puna is very good. So let's do this first. He has two sent to us two luminous bonds. <laughs> he 
you're gonna get back down at this rate. I'm taking all his cards. He has some very good cards. Mainly it's the two centaurs and then the two luminous bonds he has. Actually, I don't need to cast anything. <coughs> In case I need to ritual suit, I don't want to hit my own sworn companions. Yeah, there we go. You should have do it end of turn. So he has also has a sure and a sample. We lose our thief of sanity, but I think it's fine. Actually, let's do this first. So you can't remove one of our creatures with one health. Man, thank god with you of sanity. He has two Sun Home Souls. Two Luminous Bonds. A sure Assemble. 75 Hex Proof. A lot of big big dudes. This is good, let us see what he has. And two centers, okay. Gotta remember what he has. He has a Swan Companion, which we can hit with Vapors, but he also have a Symbol. Um, I want to bring in uh, Sprouting Renewal. <laughs> but I don't know what to take out. Because we saw two luminous bonds. I'll just bring one in. I'm not going to bring in crushing contraband. 
Even though it's at instant speed, it's one mana extra. And you can't convoke it. Uh, keep, keep, definitely keep. We have both AoEs. And we have double black, double green. Put it on green. There's our Thief of Sanity. This is why you have sideboard cards like this. So good. So good. We we'll do this first because it also uh, help us fix our, our lands. We don't need. But we don't need so many lands. We're gonna have four lands. Relax. Yeah, let's do this. We'll double block him. <coughs> and that's fine. We'll play Rhizome Lurcher for 4-4. Four, four. If you place luminous bonds here, oh, we're gonna play the sanity. Uh, sure, we'll trade. Let's play it now. Maybe he has a fight card. No fight cards. We have double removal. Oh my god, that's so good. Who do we want to take? Good for battle, I guess. He wants to trade. I will right, trade with him. But why not winning on the back on of Thief of Sanity? Oh, 
Oh, that was a bad tap. Needed one more black. So I, if I need to, I can cast double necrotic wound. Now I'll still what can kill this stole. Get rid of it. Now we can give a uh, mentor to rock charger too, and then make it fly. How many centaurs? <coughs> Excuse me. You have three centaurs. That's a lot of centaurs. Man, taking all the cards. <laughs> well, fever sanity. Thank you. Ooh, we have urban utopia, <coughs> and our opponent is going first. Yeah, I think this is a fine keep. We just want ten slower. They just sonic assault. All right, looks like it's it. it. We drag nuts. Let's play the life anchor first. If he has removal, he has it. And we'll just take three extra damage to the face. We need our crawl for Rogers to come. He'll be the MVP in this matchup. So we also see he has one three. All right, um, we're gonna stick a Benotopia on white. So this will wear double black, double green for Golgari Refine Broker. He plays Murmuring Mystic. So we gotta pay attention to that. We're looking for a Harpoon as well. There's the piston. Electromancer.
Virtual suit once again. It's gonna shine here. Two for three. We are not drawing lands, but we're okay. Link. Thought about Burglar Rat, but he has so many lands already. I'll take the Life Linker. Even though at 20 we're healthy, but you never know. Trying to buy a lot of turns. I think it's going to take 8 damage next. We don't need more lands. Yeah, turning point was definitely when we had Ritual Suit and we killed Dragonaut, Cyclops, Electromancer. We need to pay attention to his Murmuring Mystic. We need to save a hard removal for him. A very high Necrotic Wound. Uh, severed Strands. Those are the main things that's gonna get rid of the 1-5. Ritual Suit doesn't hit it. Because four mana. Yeah, I'll probably just kill. He wants to kill my life link, why? Look at all these lands. That's why I wanted to Mephitic Vapors quickly filter my land out. Draw four lands in a row already. This thing for stroke? No. He needs to play two spells here. No, oh, he can just uh, Sonic Assault.
right. So you're playing, is it? A lot of cheap minions. Um, we don't have any hand disruption. So if we see him holding mana up, blue mana up, we gotta be careful for kind of spell. What do we want to put in? I don't think we want to consider the crab, even though it's f uh, a lot of health. It needs blue. We saw captures of here. We saw captures of here. I think we can also bring Wary or Cappy in to go against his um, his piston. What will we talk about? I don't think we need Mephitic Vapors. I mean, it's good for the birds that he generates, though. Wary or Cappy might be a little bit better here. No lands, uh, easy Morgan. One land. Three colors, we'll keep this. Oh, we'll keep that too. It's a very hard removal, and we will have to planes to play it. One more black, we can get our uh, Whisper Agent online. Alright, there's a beam splitter mage. Oh, I made a mistake. I thought I could flash the Whisper Agent in. Oh no. That's, that's a very perfect start for him. He wouldn't have 5 mana to try the short strike trick again. But he could just double Sonic Assault. Actually gonna take out Rampage and Monument. Put in the Vine. That was the perfect exit hand. 10 2's Mage. 10 3 um, Piston. 10 4 Short sure Strike. Put it on both. Swing in for 12. No land. Mulligan. No green though. We have Child and I. We're gonna keep double black. We'll keep. We just need fourth land and we can ritual suit. Forest would be great here. Right, we have Dead God in hand. No attackers. Kill mage, we can just start healing. He needs to answer it. He needs a way to deal with the guild mage.
It's not instant sorcery, it doesn't activate Cyclops. Might as well do it now. Alright, he already used uh, Capture Sophia. So he needs, I think, Beacon Bolt. Did we see Beacon Bolt? I forgot. I know we saw Sonic Assaults. We also saw we Dragonauts. We have the removal, Conclave Tribunal. Yeah. We haven't seen our uh, Thief of Sanity yet. Filter out the lens, don't need that. So that's a, the weakest part of it, is it? Is they don't have enough creatures. Once they're all once all their creatures are dead, it's very hard for them to do damage. Because Sonic Assault needs needs creature to work with, right? You're you're tapping down the blockers so your creatures can get through. But when you have no creatures, it's very hard to win as is it. And already you're trying to load up on spells, so they have synergy with uh, with your with your piston. <clears throat> Probably kill my vigilance. Oh, he does have beacon bolt. So yeah, he has beacon bolt. Again, so you can probably remove my old Cappy. I'm just gonna play the Harpoon here. We need. I'm. I'm rushing him down. Even if you place the flyer, we can. We have two removals in hand. Two removals in hand. So he actually needs to kill a guy here, and then on my turn, tap down one of my attackers. <coughs> so he used beacon bolt here. No, actually, he can't. Yeah, no, this doesn't work for him. Because he needs to make Wii Dragonauts bigger in order to trade. No, this is over now. No, he can't, uh, he doesn't have enough. He's only at four. He can only tap down the six, six. All right, here's our fourth game. We're at three and oh. Two lands, double black, no green though. We have two two drops. Let's keep it. And we're going second. One green and we can get online. Our opponent mulligan to five. One to the bottom. That's a good sign for us. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, 
We need a land. <clears throat> if we draw nothing, I think we're just gonna play Child of Night. So at least if he tries to swing in on us. Whoa, he did just that. Is it gonna be Bodyguard? No. That's a two drop. Why would he give up the two drop? Very suspect. Four lands now. Okay, this is very good. I like it. Once we get one more land, it's gonna be over. One more land, I'll switch over. Root comes down. Boom. GG. We have four attack. We can at least remove one challenger if you try to pump. He'll be at four attack. Our rat will live. So we can jump one more turn. So now even if we pumped it up, it won't be enough. We'll put it on the forest, I guess. Actually, we need the white. If we play this, we can conclave the 5 2. Actually, let's just put down this guy too. We we also need to heal. I don't think he can kill us, right? Hopefully, he can't kill us. I was thinking if we conquer Tribunal for five two, he can still swing in for three.
Hmm. I'm going to take three here. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to get rid of five, two, and the ritual suit. Barging Sergeant is only 4 damage, right? Child of Night. If I blue, doom, doom, one, two, three. Need a removal. Oh, he also had Conclave Tribunal. Let's find the land first. Next damage, next turn he will take um, nine damage. Silly borrow. So he has just a strike. He has Sky Knight Legion. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. He has double borrow challenger. Monument might be too slow. I think we can put him sprouting renewal for his conclave. Do we want a war? <laughs> I think war is going to be useless. We saw Banneret as well. Let's, go, let's, let's get a Hitch Claw. Because he has a lot of ways to pump up his creatures. I think the way we win is find Ritual Suit. We also saw Hammer Dropper 5 2. No land. Easy Mulligan. 2 black. No green. I got a mulligan. Don't you just love it when the game won't let you play? Hey, green. Alright, one more land. One more land and we're good. Alright, good. That's not Borough's Challenger.
Sky Knight. No, no, no. Press the wrong button. Press the wrong button. We saved ourselves one damage, and that's good. All right, this way at least he has to use uh, removal. Oh, his flyer cannot attack. Get this stacked. All right, now we need hopefully for I don't know what we're hoping for now. Jeez. I hope that's a land. We cannot hold him off much longer. All right, he needs he needs six mana. We have crowd for Rogers. Mm. That was a very aggressive start for him. He had three flyers right off the bat. Three flyers. <laughs> we'll play first. Right. Uh, if I keep this is a fine keep. We had a two drop. We had a four and five. <coughs> we need a four. He probably subbed in all the high cost minions, like the unicorn we saw. Just to fight against us. Alright, we can curve into Crawford Rogers, which is good. Probably deciding if he wants to girdle here. Put it on the green. The 
No need to attack. You might want to chomp here. Yeah? Nah, we don't need chomp. We'll take three damage. It's not much. Oh, we should have the attack. We missed out on two damage. That's my bad. We got a chump here. Because we'll find it back with Golgari Fine Broker anyway. So it's not too terrible. This guy is curving out pretty nice too. Probably have to tap me down. Looking for a necrotic wound. I think I might have to block you. Because he's gonna tap me down. I'm not gonna be able to attack. He needs to draw some lands, yo. Because I got too much lands. Bohemian Patrol, get the We're going to be taking three each turn. That's a problem. Where's our removals? Why do we have so many lands?
what the hell? I threw four lands in a row already. To I'm at ten lands. He's at seven. Oh, give him some lands, please. What the hell, man? Oh my god. This guy's top decking skill is too strong. Alright, shouldn't be salty. Focus. What is this guy doing? Mmm. Mana floods hard. One land mulligan. Two lands keep. Even though it's a good card. We need lands. Alright, we don't need white anymore because it's Conclave Tribunals at the bottom of the deck. Or maybe we'll draw it. Maybe we'll draw it. Who knows? I'm using a trick to remove a 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Alright, let's put the pressure on him. Celestia. Celestia with Beast Whisperer. Time to put up the pressure. I mean, he heals for two each turn, right?
The most right now he can block would be two. Gonna take nine, he'll down be down to five. Trade a one for two there. Um, can this guy have more bombs? Necrotic wound. Oh. What's up with these two balls? <laughs> Yeah, I can't do much about that. All right, we saw luminous bonds. That's the removal. Everything else was just lots of creatures. We have the planes for our tribunal. We just need a blue for a thief of sanity. And we're gonna find out blue using district guide. Uh, we don't need to play that yet. Keep a one lander. Come on, we have more creatures. I, I took off Carl for Rages because I did not see any centaurs. So more of, most of his creatures are just, are just two attacks. But I think the three health should be fine. We'll keep. We have the red, we have the harpoon. Now we have double black too, if needed. We need a white though, if we want to play Tribunal. It takes a Righteous Blow, interesting. I'm not gonna block. Guild Swarm Mage. I don't think we need Guild Swarm Mage right now. Put it in the graveyard. Two righteous blow. Okay, buddy. Hmm. Now we 
going slowly flooding out. You need to play a creature. Wow. These are some premium cards he has. These are some premium cards. We can't stop it. We can really only Conclave Tribunal it. And we're getting flooded. Stop flooding us, man. <laughs> Waiting for his Beast Whisperer. Can't wait anymore. All right, this guy needs to draw some lands. Yo, draw lands. Alright, let's see if we can run away with the game. Draw lands. You got bombs, I got bombs too. Give me your Trostani. Trostani. Nice rare. I like your rare. Why did I tap my black? Uh, 
Uh, he has to chump both. Oh no, chump one actually. Trustani. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the Trustani. Um, if he flies over, I'm dead. If he flies over, I'm dead. Lucky I did not get cocky and play Trustani. That would have been a loss. Cause I was like thinking, yo, see what I stole from you. But I need a one mana up for a necrotic wound. Playing first. Mm, okay, we can keep, we're going first. We can keep this. Hopefully Mephitic Vapors can hit some of his one health minions. If this is Boros. Opponent Mulligan to five, four, three. Is it gonna go three? Nope. Four is rough. Four is very rough. Looks like the mirror, and we take one of his cards. What? Gruesome Menagerie? 5 mana, choose a creature card with converted mana cost 1 in graveyard, then do the same for creature card with converted mana 2 out of 3. Interesting. So he's playing a controlling deck. Takes 2, so it enters untapped. What is he planning to cast? Real shame. We don't need more lands. No, no, no. Inside, just to concede. So is Demir. We saw his wall. So I don't mind keeping Child of Night. Keep healing her up. Healing her up. <coughs> Um, maybe we don't need Crowd for Rages. We'll put in Wild Sarah Talk, more aggressive, or drop instead of a, maybe even under City Necrolisk. But I don't see how us, how we can take advantage of it. We're not generating tokens. How can we deal with his Wall of Mist? Maybe we take out the Dissident, put it under City Necrolisk. And see if we can take advantage of the Menace mechanic. To go bypass his wall. One lander, easy mulligan. Two lander, we'll keep. We have two two drops. Hey, we have the blue. We we'll go guild mage, and then he has a rat. <laughs> There's the wall of mist, and we just ditched our under city necrolisk. I guess I should have ditched. Um it's Child of Night instead. <laughs> if 
definition of the child of night. He also has a thief. Thief. So I'll ride the Mletcher as a 4-4. Still can't get through the 0-5. But we have 5 mana for the, from the Guild Mage to pump it up. Pump it up, pump it up. Looks like he's stuck on lands, eh? Ditching the Dows of Lights. Wow, we are flooded with lands. I... No, no white for tribunal. I mean, he could give us death touch, which we do not want happening. He probably have an instant uh, whisper agent. <laughs> he doesn't want to use his survey. He does not want to use his. What? Why? Uh, what? No, press the wrong button. I'm a real dumbass. I press the wrong button. That, that's a signal is getting late. Should go to bed. That's a good card. I like this card. Quasi duplicate. <coughs> if you put it on Murmuring Mystic, it's even super better. Super good. Let's stick it on Swamp. Do not see any flyers, so we'll just play Hapuna with Giggles. I am still very, very salty because I pressed the wrong button on Swarm Mage.
You can pump up your shade twice. Shouldn't you be saving your land for quasi duplicate? I have twenty five health. You think I'm gonna block? No, 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 no blocking here. Grats, you got five damage through. Uh, let's see if we can remove some lands. I don't match as good. Yeah, trade me that two for one, baby. Trade me that two for one. Vapors, okay. He did just informant. He does not like the formant. We'll gladly trade one for one. Thank you. Please discard your hand. Why are you pumping it up? Menagerie, ouch. That would have been a nice comeback. Let me exile you before you try to copy it. So this way he has to play two cards because now he's at two, I have lethal on board. There's no way he can play two cards at once. He needs to heal, I guess. Yeah, that's enough. Not enough. He needs to play two cards. Oh, finally, five wins. So tough. Lately, the Boros aggro has been everywhere. What? What? What just happened? Double creeping chill? No, he should have duplicated it. I 
I want to cry. Double creeping chill. I thought I had the game. Oh no. I have one necrotic wound left. No swamp mage, no harpoona, no conclave. He does not like Reaper. Oh, that was funny, double creeping chill. Right, now you're dead, right? Now you're dead. Yes. So yeah, I was saying, Lots of borrows. Lots of borrows these days. Five wins, one loss. Finally. I can go to bed. I made quite a few of the mistakes that game. That game. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Liking black, green, splashing white. For Conclave, splashing blue for Thief of Sanity. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. It really encourages me to keep producing content, and I'll see you next time.